When North Jersey Democrats gathered for a watch party last night, Democratic State Chairman John Curry made a pitch for party unity. I want to say one last thing to Senator Sanders supporters. Listen, the fight is over. If we're about being true Democrats, I would say take a deep breath, even take a few days off, come aboard this train, and let's do what we need to do for our state and for our country. A number of people we spoke to here drew the comparison with 2008, when Hillary Clinton lost to Barack Obama in the primary and then coalesced her forces around him. I think it's important for us to get together. And as it happened eight years ago, when Hillary then went behind Barack Obama, and we need to unite as a party, we, we have to, because the values that we have, we need to make sure we take those to the White House. And obviously, as what you've been seeing from the presumptive uh, nominee on the Republican side, those are not the values of a state like New Jersey. Sanders today indicated he plans to continue his campaign right up to the Democratic convention in Philadelphia, despite Clinton's resounding victories last night here and elsewhere. And thanks especially to our friends in New Jersey for such a resounding victory tonight. Bernie's got to understand that that's the situation. I always look at things in context. If he becomes a chaotic force in Philadelphia, then all that we have gained and all that we gained from the missteps of our opponents uh, will mean nothing. The chairman of the Sanders campaign in New Jersey says Senator Sanders will come around and endorse Mrs. Clinton. We've seen the results and Senator Sanders is uh, going back to Vermont today to talk to supporters. He's going to be meeting with the president tomorrow. Uh, he has said that we all recognize that what unites us is far uh, more important than what divides us. And as a party, uh, we're going to be together uh, to defeat Donald Trump in the fall. Donald Trump won New Jersey last night and his supporters gathered in Edison. We spoke to one today. Donald Trump has now received more Republican primary votes than any other nominee in history, as far as I know. And so he's really energizing the base. He's energizing voters, independents, a lot of Democrats. So uh, the poll results are showing he's doing very well here in New Jersey. I think he's going to put New Jersey in play and put Hillary Clinton on a defensive here in the Northeast. We asked if Trump needs to apologize for his comment about the judge of Mexican descent. No candidate is perfect, and candidates give thousands of interviews, and perhaps it's not his best moment, that particular interview. But as I said, I think his point was there's a lot of politics involved with this Trump University litigation. I think he probably could have said it more artfully and pointed out that the attorneys handling this litigation have close ties to the Clintons. They've given hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Clinton Foundation. I think that would have been a lot more appropriate. He should have left the lawyering to his lawyers. While the Republicans struggle to get past a big controversy, the Democrats struggle for inner peace. I was the national finance chair uh, with Howard Dean eight years ago on this very day when it was very hotly contested. There was a lot of speculation what would then Senator Clinton do when, when then Senator Obama became the presumptive nominee. And we all had faith that the right thing would happen. And indeed, she led by example then. I'm highly confident that Senator Sanders will lead by example now. Let's give the man a little time uh, to digest where we're at. Let's give the man a little time to think about where we need to be. In a way, the general election started today. I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.